Today we're going to do a doll's kill haul. How are you going? I'm Evelina Damore. I'm going to walk you through all the items that I've recently purchased from Doll's Kill. And I'm really excited to share with you what I've purchased. I guess we should start. I've got wax on my finger. But the dress that I'm wearing, which I love, is so tight. It's by Poster Girl, a brand that I haven't heard of before. But I always love anything that has like a kind of corset design on it. And I love the front here. The cut is just very flattering on the chest and you've got these two straps up here. It's very feminine. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the dress that Julia Roberts wears in Pretty Woman. I know that had the cutouts on the waist, but yeah, I don't know. Whenever I, I wear really tight dresses like that, my, um, my inner Julia Roberts from that beautiful movie comes out. So let's go through um, what I purchased and, and have a little chat about it. Before I try on this first jacket, I'm excited to announce that I'm doing a collaboration with a jewelry company called Etal Love. If you haven't heard of them, check out their Instagram. I think my following would really enjoy um, their aesthetic. It's really in line with the, the Gothic and alternative subculture. This ring that I chose here is called the High Priestess and it's really quite marvelous. The detail, um, I was quite overwhelmed with it when I first saw it. The packaging was beautiful. Um, but just the, the quality of the, the craftsmanship and the, the molds that they've used are really high quality and it's really solid um, 925 sterling silver. So I picked that ring. Again, it's called the High Priestess and this lovely necklace as well. What I liked about this is that it's like a twist on the um, old fashioned rosary, I guess. We've got the traditional cross there, but you've got this love hate theme. They've got a Romeo and Juliet vibe, um, the Montagues and the Capulets on their website, which is really cool. And a lot of angel wings and um, yeah, just a lot of imagery that's uh, kind of old school rock and roll paired with this modern kind of a culty flair that I'm really into and I'm sure you guys would enjoy as well. Um, so that is, yeah, just deliciously sitting between my succulent breasts. Um, isn't, isn't she lucky? Yeah, that's all she has to do is sit there all day. So I'd be happy with that. <laughs> I have a, um, a discount code for you guys. So check out the description below and there is a little affiliation code if you would like to go to their website and purchase some of their items. And now let's move on to the jacket. So my first item, which I absolutely adore is this beautiful faux fur coat. If you've been following me on Instagram for a while, you know that I have a lot of these. You might know me so well that you're like, Avelina, why the fuck do you need another one? Well, let me tell you how this one differs from the other one that I've got. <laughs> we might be here for a while. Um, look, <laughs> it's really not that different. I just fucking liked it, so shut up. That is by the brand Glamour, which I haven't heard of before, but um, yeah, I'll definitely have to look into that. So what I like about this jacket is just the general oversized feel about it. It's super fancy as well. Like I mentioned earlier, I feel powerful when I'm wearing it. It's a, yeah, it's a, a very cool jacket. And I like how it looks with the hat. All we need now is a cool handbag, luckily. Oh, what's this one here doing? Hello. <laughs> Where have I seen you before? I, yeah, I just, I love this whole outfit. I think it's rather cute. <laughs> then next is this oversized beautiful long sleeve top by Horoscope. The color scheme got me. I love fluoro green and purple is a personal favorite of mine. I'm liking a lot of their stuff. So they do a lot of astrological type graphics, um, obviously a lot of horoscope type themed um, PJ sets and really cute kind of, yeah, yeah, graphics that I'm just really in tune with at the moment. Uh, yeah, this is just lovely and I, I love the oversizedness. I, the older I get, the more I seem to appreciate um, wearing clothing that is kind of like cool pajamas. And that's what this is. I mean, I would pair it with a pair of really nice plain tights, possibly latex heels and this and look bomb as fuck. Uh, I really like that. <laughs> This is the horoscope tee and all I've done is paired it with one of my favorite leather jackets. It is a cropped fit. It pulls it in a little bit at the waist because it is an oversized t-shirt, but that is what I love about it. It's casual, but it's still fucking chic and sexy. Uh, I've just got on some tights. These aren't from Dolls Kill, but what I like about these is that they're kind of shiny and they resemble that gymnastics material. I don't know if it's us. It might just be spandex, but I like the shine in them and I think it just dresses up the rather casual t-shirt a little bit. But yeah, I'm loving how this looks. The next item. <laughs> I mean, I saw that. I'm like, did they make that for me? Like, holy shit. Sounds gay. I'm in. Fuck. 
it's just it's just beautiful i the only thing that is missing to me is a little unicorn horn or something like yeah it's this is just great i love the sentiment um it's just it's just happy and <laughs> it's colorful which you like so why the fuck are you buying it evelina well I do wear a lot of black, but I am very fucking happy. And inside, I'm a motherfucking unicorn with lots of colors. So this just spoke to the inner gay goddess in me. Because I think a part of me is gay. Uh, <laughs> I think a big part of many people is gay. They just don't embrace it. I definitely embrace um, my gayness. So in today's climate, I feel it's really important to be politically incorrect because I think the world's just got way too serious. And that's why I really need to fucking endorse the sentiment of this shirt. Sounds fucking gay, I mean. <laughs> Next up, we have this dress by Widow. I've got quite a lot of their items, actually. I didn't realize how many I'd purchased. I love the white collar, the lace detail here, and the little peep hole for the chest, which is kind of cute and sneaky and the little puff sleeves here. So I'm really excited to see how this looks. It's also got these attachments for garter belts. I'm really thankful that they detach as well because I might not want to always wear suspenders. It definitely changes the look and it's more of an evening slash date sexy time kind of thing. It's not something that's always appropriate. So I like that, again, they're removable so I can wear this dress um, every day rather than just for a specific occasion. <laughs> this is the widow dress. I really like it. I think it's super cute. And oh my god, does it does thing? It just oh, hello. <laughs> they are um, standing at attention, aren't they? I, I can see why that little peephole is there. Um, so yeah, just make sure you wear a good push-up bra with this, so your girls are saying hello. <laughs> um, I, <laughs> Oh god. Do you also stare at your boobs in amazement? Like I do all the time. That is self-love. That's a beautiful fucking thing. Hashtag free the boobs. Definitely. Okay, so I love the little puff sleeve here. It's super cute. It's got this kind of like innocent, like almost schoolgirl air to it. Um that I quite like. <laughs> um I mean I would like to have had this be my uniform when I was in school. I also like this just with a jacket over the shoulders, you know, if it's just getting a little cold or um, chilly. Okay, so in regards to the size, this is a small, it's lovely. This is a 10 out of 10 for cuteness. Next up, we have another one by Horoscope. This is quite different for me, uh, but I was really drawn to it. I'm being drawn to some different kind of vibrant colors um, and I like expanding my wardrobe. Yes, I am attracted to the gothic aesthetic, but as I mentioned before, I really do like colors and I'm trying to embrace that a little more within um, my wardrobe. So I guess this uh, latest purchase is reflecting that. So this is by Horoscope. It is said to be a bodycon dress, so I hope it is as tight as I'd like it to be. I can't wait to try this on and show you how it looks. So this dress is soon becoming one of my favorites, actually. It's it's really warming on me. It's so different. I love the long arms and those armholes. It's so grungy and kind of 90s. And I like that it actually is long enough to fit me and the holes are in the right spots because I am quite tall. I am 171 centimeters. I think that's five foot seven. Maybe five foot eight, somewhere around there. But um, I'm yeah, I'm taller than usual. When I wear heels, that makes me 180 centimeters. So usually, um, just due to that, the uh, the little hole that they put there for your thumb can usually be up at my wrist. So this is really nice and long and elongated. Um, it's yeah, it's really. I find it flattering. I hope you guys do too. So I've just got my jacket here again. A leather jacket is an absolute must for any wardrobe. It can dress up any outfit as I will show you now. And you can just take it off and carry it and look classy as fuck as well when you're holding it. So if I was going out to a date or a cocktail party or something like that, hopefully that shit will start again once COVID fucks off. Um, I would just bring this, which is my Death Candy wallet available on my website. They are $99.95 and are available in many different interior colors. This one being red, obviously. Um, and I would just put my phone in there. It fits big phones. You can attach your keys to it and just hold it. Yeah, by the handle. I don't need to show you how to hold. It's a fucking wallet, just hold it. But it looks cute as fuck, just holding it like that.
Next up is this cute little dress by Sugar Thrills. This looked adorable on the model on Dolls Kill. She had this little beret on and I was like, oh, I just want to be her. I love the little collar and again, the puff sleeves. It's very similar to this one actually, just in that it doesn't have the little peephole and the, the material's different, but I'm definitely finding myself attracted to that style or that cut. I like the sheer nature of the dress with these cute little roses that are a soft baby pink. There's a soft femininity to it that I like, and I'm really enjoying pairing like a goth or a darker aesthetic with this uh, this, this cuteness. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's rather odd. <laughs> well, for me anyway, I know it's completely a style and many people have done it before me, but for me, it's a, a new kind of aesthetic that I'm stepping into that I'm really enjoying. This has a underslip because obviously it's completely sheer. So we will be trying this on momentarily and seeing how it looks. This one is fucking divine. It's like the color had me. I saw on the website that I absolutely loved that green, but it's so much nicer in person. It's a really soft velvet. This is also by Widow. So again, four or five items here by Widow. It's short, which I like, but hopefully not too short. It's got some lovely lace detail. Zip at the back still has the tag on it. I got these items, honestly, about two months ago and just haven't had a minute to myself to really be able to try them on. So literally, as I put these on for you now, it will be the first time that I'm trying them on. So that's really exciting because I haven't really done that before. We literally got in my first reaction to these clothes. So let's go and do that. Is it the hat? It's a fucking hat, isn't it? Is it too small? It's too small. I fucking knew it. So this is the widow dress and it's so fucking cute. I feel like a princess, but like an enchanted mystical princess. I feel like Sleeping Beauty, but like a modern day Sleeping Beauty. Not with the long dresses, cause I feel like legs are really sexy. Um, and this is just the most perfect length. Sometimes when I buy dresses, they're too short. And then, you know, you can't wear them anywhere. You can't bend over, your ass is gonna like fall out. Um, but this is, this is a really, it's a tasteful length. It's short, but it's not too short. You know, you could wear it out with your parents and still retain some of your respect, <laughs> if not all of it. <laughs> I love this color. The emerald green is quite striking. The velvet's super soft. I love the cross here. Um, one might question if I'm wearing too many crosses, but to you, I say, <laughs> what's wrong with you? You can never wear enough crosses. Um, I think that's quite nice. It's really soft. It's a nice cut. Um, I was a little apprehensive about the shape of this dress. I wasn't sure if it was going to suit me. I usually prefer like bodycon stuff like that. Like I'm sure that looks good too. But um, it's quite rare for me to like the flowy kind of shit. And I'm really enjoying the flowy shit. I'm really enjoying the flow. And it makes me like want to do this. Which I guess adds to the whole kind of like princess vibe. Um, so yeah, this is actually... I don't want to say it's my favorite dress. Because I think the, the, the horoscope one that I tried on with the thumb holes is my favorite, but this is my second favorite. Overall, I'm really happy with my choices. I don't know if you guys do that, but with online shopping, there's a little bit of a risk involved in the sense that you can't try it on. But I've gotten quite good at like reading the materials and kind of like, having a pretty good assumption if it's going to work or not. And yeah, I'm really, really pleased with everything that I've bought so far. <laughs> um, this is oh, another Widow one. So yeah, I liked the... Uh, kind of like 1920s kind of vibe that's going on here. It's almost like Art Deco in the collar. I really enjoy the high-waisted or the midriff style tops, especially when I pair them with um, really usually tight <laughs> um, high-waisted skirts and a nice little belt. So you'll see that I have quite a few of these. We are on the second last top. This is also by Widow. I love the collar. I'm just loving everything about this. The little puffy sleeves again is a really feminine feature that I'm really enjoying. We've also got the belt here. This is the high-waisted one with the love hearts. I think it looks really cute paired with this skirt. This was also from Dolls Kill. It's that beautiful four-way stretch patent material that I just love it. It's uh, <laughs> it's like my idea of tracksuits, <laughs> which a lot of you are going to laugh at, but it's comfortable, it's stretchy, but it's flattering as fuck. Oh, another widow. Jesus Christ. Um, I just, I really liked that pattern. That's the really only reason I bought that one. And normal people scare me. Yeah. <laughs> Who wants to be normal? So let's try this stuff on and see how it looks. 
This one's also by Widow. It's a small, it's a totally different fit. It's a different material. It's uh, kind of like swimsuit material or a very, very, very soft, very, very soft <laughs> um, cotton with maybe a little bit of spandex in it. It's, yeah, it's looser. It's a little bit longer, more relaxed. Um, yeah, it's resembling pajama material, like that really nice, soft. Anyway, it's fucking soft. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> really talking about the material there. This is another widow shirt. I'm absolutely in love with this stuff at the moment. It's a little short. I get it's a midriff top, but um, yeah, there's like, I like usually a little overlay there so I can either tuck the shirt in or, um, you know, pull the skirt up. But I mean, it's midriff, so fucking stop complaining about it. It would be really cute to wear this as well with high-waisted skinny jeans or heels. And um, it's simple, like, I've, I've had a few people, not for people really, honestly, <laughs> no one that I respect about, but some people are like, oh, you're too old to wear, not me, obviously. Um, just people like shouldn't wear graphic tees when they reach a certain age. I don't agree with that. I think it's how you wear it. And um, yeah, I think graphic tees can be dope as fuck when worn the right way. Fashion is all about the way in which you wear it and on what you're wearing it so remember that like that's what I, I was talking before about the way this jacket makes me feel it makes me feel powerful it brings out certain parts of your personality and that's why i like to encourage women to buy lingerie because it will make you feel sexual and i think that's really important especially if say you haven't embraced your sexuality it will bring out a different side of you and that can be really fun to explore with yourself or your significant other. This isn't a top from Dolls Kill, but it is the most gorgeous bustier. So any lingerie lovers out there, if you're in Australia, check out bras and things. They have a section called, or a range, I should say, called Vamp, which you know is perfectly suited to um, me. So check them out. This is no affiliation at all. I just absolutely adore their lingerie. And this is one of them. And yeah, I want to kind of bring back that um, 80s <laughs> bustier under the, the sexy little tight skirt with the leather jacket look. I think it's uh, really cool. <laughs> I also picked up this really cool hat. I've been looking for one of these for a hot little minute and I think it's the one that Jade the Libra has been wearing in like pretty much all of her videos. I might be wrong, but I've just, I love that girl and I love the hat that she wears. It's a little more rounded than the ones that I've previously gotten from Killstar, which I adore. I absolutely adore, but they're also quite expensive. So if you are on a little bit of a budget, this was $9.95. So head on over to Dolls Kill and check out their hat section. And yeah, I think it looks uh, cute as fuck. I also picked up some belts. You can never have too many belts in my opinion. <laughs> this one is quite busy. Um, it's just a tie up high, high waisted belt. I would probably be pairing, I would definitely be pairing that with something that is completely plain. Just a plain tight dress with that busy belt around my waist. The next belt I got, which is really cool. It's kind of different for me in the sense that I don't really like I wouldn't say I'm not lovey-dovey, but yeah, the Love Hearts is a little different for me. Maybe because they're black. Oh my god, that's so fucking cute! Yeah, black heart! <laughs> yeah, I can do this. Um, it looks a little fetishy to me, but I kind of like that. It's, um, it's playful, you know? It's not, I think without the Love Hearts, I mightn't have liked it as much. But again, all these accessories are like $9.95, so they're really cool. This wasn't from Dolls Kill, but we do need to mention, just because it's cool as fuck. My makeup mirror in collaboration with Christiana One and Only. And if you haven't purchased yourself one of these, head on over to my website. They are available in six different colors with matte finish and painted finish, which is the one that you see here. Widow have consistently been coming out with a lot of items that I really like. So I already know that I like this one. It has been washed. So in that regard, I can tell you kind of how the bows are sitting and how the collar sits after you wash it. I'm not one that irons. Like at all, if something needs to be ironed, I don't buy it. Um, so we'll see how that looks. This is the last top of the day. Another Widow one. Wow, they on fire. I've added my favorite little collar pins by my good friend Manku Gill. I mentioned these in um, my first podcast, actually. Um, so if you like them, go and check out her store. Another female boss babe that I completely adore. She's got a beautiful image and a beautiful personality. Hey Manku, if you're watching, I hope you're well. I think they absolutely nailed it with this top. It's just, yeah, a beautiful combination of elegance and femininity. 
um, the little bow tie here and the lace on the collar detail is super sweet. Uh, I think it'd look great without the pins if you weren't to do um, to add the pins, but yeah, I like that little extra touch. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed my Dolls Kill haul. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing, comment and sharing. All of that helps my channel. I hope there's a noticeable difference in quality. Me and my friend Luke, who's helping me film these, have been working quite a lot on angles and lighting and using all different types of equipment. I'm off to film some music for my podcast, Sex, Blood and Rock and Roll. If you haven't checked out episode one already, please do so. Consider subscribing again. And I'm going to sit down at the piano now. Do what I do.